Oh, good afternoon, everybody. Today is Saturday, January 30th. Uh, it's about 12.31 p.m. I just left Sam's Club. Had a fantastic uh, experience, reunion. Uh, hanging out with my freedom-loving, anti-mask Nazi brothers and sisters. There were about six of us. Uh, not simultaneously, but overall. One here, one there, two there, three there. And uh, anyway, just shaking hands, congratulating each other. It was amazing. I do believe the fever of the sickness of the uh, virus, the, which is the uh, demon rat party, I believe the fever is lifting. Uh, it's ultimately not the demon rat party. They're just, uh, the demon rats are just a, uh, they're just like a poodle for the uh, CCP, for the Chinese Communist Party. They're just like a trained pet for the, uh, the latest incarnation of a communist, uh, you know, what's the right terminology? Uh, a co you know, communist uh, ideology, communist uh, the latest expression of communism in our age, the CCP. You know, at some point, at one point it was uh, Fidel Castro, uh, I guess maybe Nat Manuel Noriega was one, obviously, uh, Brzezinski, uh, the uh, Russians, or several uh, people, uh, Lenin, Stalin, and on and on and on, a bunch of them actually. That was a, that was a big one, right? Uh, Chinese, of course, have been communists for a long time, since Mao Zedong, I think that was in the 1950s. So, anyway, that's what it all is, but I think the fever is lifting. Um, on, on the way into, uh, on the way to Sam's, I was listening to a broadcast by uh, Michael Jaco on uh, YouTube. Michael Jaco, in case you don't know, is a 27-year uh, uh, Navy SEAL and 11-year CIA uh, heavy uh, weaponry combat veteran. So... Uh, you know, I'm, I don't know the man personally. That's what he says he is. Uh, until I have reason to believe he's something else, I guess I'll go with that. But um, that's what he says he is. And at this point in time, I believe him. So, um, and he said that on January 28th, uh, we defeated the Chinese Communist Party. Something about the uh, South China Sea and uh, Taiwan, and now Taiwanese and American troops are going to be landing together on uh, mainland China. So, and and supposedly Trump is going back to China also. Uh, Michael Jaco also uh, declared on the show that I listened to, uh, it's Jaco by the way, J-A-C-O, very simple, Jaco. Um, he declared on his show that Mar-a-Lago, Trump's house in uh, Palm Beach, is the winter White House. It is the actual White House. It's the real White House. Uh, the White House in Washington, D.C. is the fake White House, the cartoon White House. Point being is that, in case you don't know, it's a hard thing to wrap your head around. Admittedly, I've, I've been working on it for a long time. I've been having a friend help me, and, you know, it's just hard. It's very hard. But, uh, and that's how they get away with things, by the way. That's how they commit... Uh, great acts of uh, deception is uh, it's it's uh, it's very uh, they do it through abstraction and through things that are through techniques and methodologies that are very difficult to understand. Uh, the way that's the way they get away with it because uh, if nobody can figure out what you're doing, you know, then uh, how are they supposed to object to what you're doing? They don't even know what you're doing, you know. So. Uh, it's hard to understand, but there has, since I think it's 1871, the United States Republic, the Republic of the United States, at that time was bankrupt, and uh, I don't know when the Civil War was, maybe it was because of the Civil War, I don't know. Was the Civil War like in the 1850s and 60s, maybe? I'm just guessing, I don't actually know. But, uh, <clears throat> so they asked the Vatican, and the crown, the British crown for a loan to keep them afloat and through some uh, maneuvering and uh, uh, how do you say, uh, some maneuvering and some uh, intrigue 
on the part of the Vatican and the crown, the royal crown of England. Uh, the America was taken over financially, not militarily, financially. So what was instituted was the corporation of the United States. And what happened was that uh, London and uh, the Vatican loaned us money and they sent a bunch of their representatives into our government under the premise that they were there to ensure that the, their loan would be repaid. So everything seemed all on the up and up on the, on the uh, surface, but underneath the surface, they started their uh, maneuverings in the back, you know, under the, under the, under the cover of uh, darkness, so to speak, uh, with the intrigue and uh, manipulations. So um, the corporation over the years since that time has been slowly, slowly, slowly eating away at the power and the authority of the Republic, the original United States. And they've been uh, like Indiana Jones in uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark when he went in and he found the, uh, the archaeological artifact and it was sitting on top of that stone altar type thing and he very gingerly like took the old one off and put the, and put the other one, the, the fake one on, you know, and then he ran and he thought he made it, but he didn't. He actually triggered all of the booby traps. You know, that was like a big action scene of the movie. Spears flying, earthquakes, you know, everything. So, um, or you can look at it like the Pink Panther movies where the Pink Panther goes in and he uh, dodges all of the laser beams, you know, with all of uh, his uh, acrobatics, acrobatic skills. Um, you know, the laser beams going in all their straight lines. So they are going all different directions. And, uh, you know, he practiced for months because they had an exact replica in his little studio or whatever. So, uh, but anyway, when he got to the diamond, he replaced the real diamond with a fake diamond. And it would take, um, you know, an expert to distinguish between the real and the fake. Okay, so that's actually a pretty good analogy if you think about it. Because it gets very confusing with the United States. It's like, hey, which is the real and which is the fake? It's very, it's very confusing, right? And that's the whole point. Okay, so look at it like the Pink Panther thing, you know? Or look at it like Raiders of the Lost Ark. I mean, uh, Harrison Ford, or whatever his character's name was in the movie, he was extremely careful to replace the real with the fake very quickly and very subtly and very imperceptibly. Uh, but the booby traps that the Aztecs or whatever culture that was that had built that whole system to protect that archaeological ar artifact. I, I suppose it would be considered like a, a holy uh, artifact. Um, you know, he was very careful um, to make sure that the replacement, the theft, the theft and replacement was imperceptible, you know, and even after the fact, it would be almost imperceptible. That's exactly what's happened here. They came in and they replaced the Republic with the corporation. And they did it very stealthily, very quickly, very quietly, very, well, maybe not quickly. Actually, they did it very slowly in this case. But they did it very carefully and very stealthily and very quietly, right? And people look at it and they can't tell the difference. It's like, what, you know, what, is, what even is the difference, you know? That legally, the difference is that the corporation has no authority outside of the District of Columbia and 10 miles uh, in circumference around that area. Uh, whereas the Republic is everything, right? The entire from sea to shining sea, Alaska, Hawaii, you know, uh, the territories of Puerto Rico, Guam, whatever, you know? So that that's the legal difference. But from a layman's point of view, when you look at the corporation, you think that it is the Republic. It's not. It's a separate entity. It has the, it has a similar name, but not the same name. The United States Republic is a legal entity that is identified by its name in proper casing, or what they what you might call title casing, like uppercase U, lowercase N I T E D, uppercase S, lowercase T A T E S. It's all very strange stuff, very weird stuff to people who are not familiar, clu clued in with the law, you know. But just on a layman's uh, level, uh, common sense wise, uh, intuitive wise, you know, we all know, a lot of us do, that when you go to court. You know, you have to present your documents in certain formats. 
and they have to have certain uh, certain letters and certain casings and certain cases across the top, and it has to have you know it's it, the the format. I'm not 100 percent sure because I've heard it go both ways, but I believe I've heard that you can just scribble something on a legal pad and submit it. I, I don't know if that's true, but my understanding is that everything has to be in a proper format for a judge to accept it, right? So, um, so with respect to the Republic, to repeat myself, yes, it is the United States in title case, but the corporation is the United States in all uppercase. Everything's uppercase. It's just like you. You also, there are also two entities uh, that represent you. One is you, the real you, okay? And the other is the uh, corporation known as, the, the corporation that has a, a name very similar as yours. It's your name, but it's your name in all caps. So if you look at your driver's license or any document that comes from the government, it's your name in all caps. See, they don't, they're dealing with, they're dealing with a legal identity that is backed by the real you. They're not dealing with the real you because the real you is a sovereign. The real you has God-given rights. The corporation of you is something that can be manipulated. And if you're not like me, I'm still not there. I'm still working on it. It's very hard. If you're not savvy enough, like I'm still not savvy enough, to understand that there's two U's, okay? And when you see your name in all caps, you think that's you. That's not actually you. That's just an extension of you. That's like a parallel version of you that uh, the courts, which, by the way, the courts are all corporations. Most police departments are corporations. Everything has been corporatized. And uh, so, long story short, the version of the United States, okay, the corporation has been bankrupted. It's a defunct legal entity. Joe Biden is the president of a defunct legal entity that has no revenue, no assets, no real power, no authority, okay? The only thing they can do is pretend and fake and role play. That's why if you're a Q follower, you're familiar with the phrase Castle Rock. Nobody knows what Q is talking about until it comes to bear. That's why Q always said, future proves past. Uh, which means you can't use what Q is saying about the future to predict the future because you don't know. You can guess, but you don't know. But when the future comes to bear, then you know. So Castle Rock Entertainment is the movie production company out in California that built the replica of the White House and the Oval Office, the whole thing, East Wing, West Wing, everything, that a bunch of different movie producers use uh, to, to make their movies in when their movie needs that setting, the setting being the White House and the East Wing and the West Wing. So that's where Joe Biden is ruling from purportedly. I don't have first-hand knowledge. I don't know that for sure, but you see him signing executive orders. You know, he's, he's in different, sometimes he's in one room, one desk, another desk. Sometimes the executive orders are blank. There's just a blank piece of paper. He's not signing anything. Sometimes it has some writing on it, but it doesn't look like the executive orders that uh, President Trump signed. I mean, everything is just different. It's Everything is different and weird. And when you see a, 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 an old senile man signing blank pieces of paper, that's that's pretty weird. You know, that's pretty weird. So uh, anyway, um, yeah. So uh, I, I think that uh, the fever is lifting. I think we're about to get through this. I think uh, if Michael Jaco is correct, the CCP is done, they're dead. And if the CCP is done and dead, then the Demon Rat Party is dumb and dead. Because the communist, Chinese Communist Party is the only thing the Demon Rats had going for them. So uh, it's a great day, I'm very excited. Uh, you know, normally I would write, but uh, I, don't, I have to go home and work, so I don't think I'm gonna have time, so I'm just making this video while I'm driving. It's a great way to multitask. And uh, I'm done, so I'm just going to stop talking. God bless you. Thank you for listening. Hope you have a wonderful day, and uh, talk to you soon.
Hopefully next time I talk to you, I'll be as excited as I, excited and as happy and as upbeat as I am right now. Okay, God bless you. Bye.